Hello, and welcome to the second video of the Strategic Sorcery series. Tonight, I want to talk to you a little bit about goals and goal settings in magic. Um, I just sent out the first homework assignment to the students in the fourth cycle of the Strategic Sorcery course. Hello, students in fourth cycle. Um, the first homework assignment is to set a goal for yourself, something that you can build a strategy around using mundane and magical methods that we teach in the course to accomplish something that is not easily accomplished. Most of you have done a great job of this. Um, some of you and some people in the magical community in general are not so good at goal setting. And specifically, I find that there are three main problems, three types of crap goals that I think people should avoid when uh, planning out their magical strategies. So, the first of these is the improbable or the impossible goal. This is admittedly more of a problem in magic and the occult than in other fields because, of course, we are dealing with things that society does not recognize as uh, real or, uh, you know, are acknowledged scientifically. We're dealing in the gray areas, uh, if you will. So because of this, a lot of people out there just have the idea that, well, if something that society says is not possible can be attained, then just about anything can be attained with magic, and we magic becomes something like you would see on the sci-fi channel or something like that. So I have had people tell me that they want to use magic to physically change their appearance. I have had people tell me that they want to use magic to become vampires and live for hundreds of years. I have had people tell me all kinds of impossible things. These things are not going to happen. Uh, simple as that. Don't even want to talk about it anymore. Improbable goals. There's nothing wrong with an improbable goal unless it's an unmappable goal. The number one thing that I get offered up as a goal, probably more than any other single thing I get offered up as a goal, is I want to win the lottery and be set for life. Um, this is so improbable that it's not going to happen. Um, magic is good at three things. Those three things are changing the mind, your own mind, affecting the minds of other people, not turning them into willless thralls, uh, as movies would have you believe, and uh, as some people seem to think influencing magic does. If this was the case, then uh, magical gatherings and pagan festivals would be filled with lots of nerdy guys and uh, with supermodels hanging on each arm. And if you've never been to a pagan festival, I can assure you this is not the case. Uh, that's because you can influence people's minds, but it does not mean that you can dominate people's minds that easily. Uh, the third thing that it does well is it alters probability. So you can shift probability this way and that, uh, if you're a really good magician, you can really shift probability quite a lot. Uh, however, that does not mean that it is an easy task to make it snow in July. Is it within the realm of possibility? Perhaps. Uh, but it's not very probable for it to happen. The lottery is a lot like this you have a 1 in 18 million chance of winning the multi-million dollar pot in the lottery, on average. You're about 35 times more likely to be struck by lightning. You're about 10 times more likely to die on the way to buy a ticket than you are to actually win the lottery. Uh, when you add this, uh, when you Add the fact that so many other people are doing magic to win the lottery, that it mostly all cancels each other out. You can see how it's sort of a 
bad and improbable goal. Uh, add to this the fact that it's an unmappable goal. There are no steps to take. You do one spell and hope for the best. That's not strategic sorcery, certainly. Um, and I'm a firm believer in going for things that at least there's a map to attain. So the first type of goal is the improbable or the impossible goal. Second type of go crap goal is the exact opposite. It's the lame goal. I've had people write me with these really tentative goals. Uh, I want to finally move out of my mom's house. I want to get promoted to the middle management job. I want to pay back uh, my $3,000 credit card debt. Um, these are important things, for sure, but they're the first step. They're not uh, a worthy goal of you. A goal should light a fire in the belly. Uh, when somebody writes me and they say, you know, I want to become a celebrity, but not an A-list celebrity. I, I want to be, you know, just a local celebrity because I daren't dream for, for something that high. It, it almost breaks my heart a little bit. Uh, you should really, you know, go for it. You have that uh, A-list celebrity as your goal, if that's the kind of thing that you have the goal for. Um, and so that should be your goal, because it is mappable. There is, uh, There are steps you can take towards that goal every day. One could argue that it's highly improbable to get to be an A-list celebrity, and you'd be right, but at least as a goal, it's leading you somewhere. It's not just sitting around waiting until you win millions of dollars in the lottery. So avoid lame goals. Uh, lame goals will inspire lame effort. Great goals will inspire great effort. And don't you want uh, to accomplish great things in this life? Or, you know, uh, I think Pete Carroll just wrote, in his recent book that if you're not out to accomplish great things then why are you really bothering with magic at all the last crap goal is the vague goal the vague goal is probably the most insidious I want to be wealthy I want to lose weight I want to be healthy these all sound really good um, even I want to be enlightened. These are vague goals. And just like most of the improbable goals, they're sort of unmappable because you don't know where you want to go. Uh, you want to lose weight. Okay, that's good. How much weight? What's your number? What do you want to get down to? What amount of weight do you want to convert from fat to muscle first? Um, do you want to just lose weight or do you really want to get in shape? How much do you want to be able to lift? How far do you want to be able to run? What is the BMI that you want to have? These are goals that you can write down and you can chart your progress towards. Wealth, I've written about the I want to be wealthy goal in the Sorcerer's Secrets. If you summon Zadkiel and say, I want to be wealthy, Zadkiel is going to look at you and say, well, you make $50,000 a year. You're in the top 1% income earner uh, bracket on planet Earth. Over half the people working make less than $800 a year. You're already wealthy. There you go. If, however, you summon Zadkiel, the Archangel of Jupiter, and say, well, Zadkiel, I would like to get a promotion at my day job into the six-figure range, and I would like my web business that I do at home to take off and equal that, so I'd like to uh, generate a healthy income from home that I can then channel into income-producing assets, which will eventually lead to my comfortable retirement, Zadkiel can say, okay, well, those are things that I can help you with. Uh, these are firm goals, numbers, things that you want to attain. Uh, if your goal is uh, to have sex with a different beautiful woman every night, if your goal is to attain enlightenment, give me something here. How are you measuring 
enlightenment. Um, are you measuring it by calm, by inner peace, by happiness, by wisdom? These are things that you can actually quantify and measure. You can wake up every morning and, and think about happiness. You can uh, see how you interact with other people, see how your practice is affecting you, see how mindful your practice is making you. Uh, certainly the world of magic is just filled with people who have intense astral experiences and you know they fly up and they meet gods and angels and get initiated and bumped on the head and they go see llamas and get empowerments and things like that and then they just wind up being the same boring wankers that they always have been uh, and it doesn't really get them anywhere so if you have that as a goal how are you working towards it? How are you quantifying it? Are you uh, really getting somewhere? Or are you just sitting around uh, waiting for it to happen? So the three crap goals to avoid, improbable or impossible goals, lame and uninspiring goals, and vague and unmeasurable goals. If you can avoid these three things during your magical goal planning, then you will be off to a great start. The key is, whatever your goal is, you should have something that you can do that day or the very next day to get yourself a little bit towards that goal. And in future videos, we'll talk about how to get further towards that goal. But for now, I just wanted to talk about setting the goal itself. With that in mind, have a good night.